Welcome to Tuesday Talk. This week, I want to dig into the Bible with you. Now, it may seem obvious, but as leaders in ministry, it is important for us to be regularly reading our Bibles, striving to understand what we read, and then passing that information along to the children that we serve. Now, I know when we pick up a Bible, it can be daunting at times. It can seem like a challenge that you just can't meet to read this big book filled with lots of little words. I get it. It is a big book, and it does have a lot of little words. But instead of looking at it as one book, look at it as a library, because ultimately, the Bible is a library. It's not just one book. It contains 66 books of all different genres and types and sizes, and they are so different that if you look at them as a bunch of different books, it's a lot easier to read through the entire Bible. And you can find out a lot of different information because as you read the Bible, you have the Psalms that are filled with beautiful poetry. You have the Proverbs. You have the laws of the Old Testament. You can get into the Gospel and piece together all the moments that Jesus lived on this earth. There are so many parts to the Bible that when you break it down into all the different books, it actually is an extremely interesting book of to read. So I challenge you that if you're not currently reading your Bible, to start. Get your Bible out and read it every single day. Now, if you don't have a Bible that you enjoy reading or that you struggle getting through all of the different words, please let me know. I'd love to help you find a Bible that's a good fit for you. We can grab a cup of coffee, go shopping, and get a Bible that allows you to grow in your faith so that you can pass on a love for the Bible to the kids in our ministry. Because ultimately, that's what we need to be doing. We need to point them to the Bible to let them know that this is where to go to find Jesus. Because at some point, they're not going to be attending our classes anymore. They're going to get old. They're going to grow up. Maybe they'll move away. But the Bible goes with them, even places that we can't. So we want to equip them to read the Bible, to understand it, and to love it, to truly love digging into the Bible and into God's Word. So if you have a Bible at home, I want you to pause this video and go get it. Okay? Did you get it? All righty. We, let's open up our Bibles together. I am going to be using the Bible that we actually hand out to all of our third graders every fall. Now, if you ever come in contact with a child in ministry who would love to have a Bible and they're not in third grade, please let me know. I am happy to pass out this Bible anytime a child needs it. So I'm going to be using this Bible. It's an NIV version. Um, so your translation may be a bit different. But I want you to find 2 Timothy. Now, when we're talking with kids about the Bible and we're reading from the Bible on Sunday mornings, I encourage you to have kids get out a Bible and find the verse with you as well. It's so important to teach them how to use the Bibles while they're with us on Sunday mornings. So if you had a, a classroom of students and you wanted them to find this verse, you would say, okay, let's go to 2 Timothy. Now, is that in the Old Testament or the New Testament? Now, 2 Timothy it can be found in the New Testament. So then I would follow that up with, okay, is that in the beginning of the book or the end of the book? Now, the New Testament is the end of the book. So go ahead and find 2 Timothy, and it actually is very close to the back of the book. You can find it right before Titus. If you get to Hebrews, you've gone too far. So we're looking for 2 Timothy 3, 16 to 17. So then we, when teaching kids in class, we would explain to them the first number is going to be your chapter. So that's your big number. And then the other numbers are your verses, which are the little numbers. So if we're reading 2 Timothy 3, 16 to 17, it tells us all scripture is God-breathed and is useful for teaching, rebuking, correcting, and training in righteousness so that the man of God may be thoroughly equipped for every good work. I think these are huge reminders and encouragement for us as we work in ministry to really dig into the Bible, to be reading it daily, and to be understanding what we're reading. Because this is not just a book. Everything in this book has been inspired and breathed by God, and it is the ultimate tool for allowing us to train and equip 
the children at New Stanton Church. Everything we need to know can be found in here. Everything the children need to know can be found in here. This is the library of books that we want them to check out time after time and to turn to when life is good and when life is not so good. So I am challenging you to get out your Bible. Maybe you need to brush some dust off of it. Maybe it, you read it so often that it's worn out and you have it taped back together. Whatever it may be, get out your Bible and read it this week. Make it into a challenge. Maybe read a book of the Bible that you've never read before. Or see if you can read all four Gospels in the next month. Or challenge yourself to read the books of law in the Old Testament. Or get on YouVersion Bible app and find a Bible reading plan. You can do the Bible in a year and it maps it out completely for you. Every day it tells you exactly what you need to read. Whatever it is, just make sure you're opening your Bible daily. And when you have the opportunity to serve the children in ministry, encourage them to open a Bible with you. Because we want to lead them into a relationship with Christ and into a place where they know that this book can provide them with everything that they need to know to get closer and closer to their Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ.